and welcome back to the Cornish Dog. This week we're not actually in Cornwall, we've escaped for a few days to the Cotswolds. Our friend Marcel Le Corgi invited us here. Now just a quick dog's closure, this is a complimentary stay and Marcel has come here with Visit Wiltshire and Log House Holidays which is where we're staying. It's a stunning Scandinavian log cabin overlooking a beautiful lake and oh my goodness the views here are <laughs> incredible <laughs> i think we'll spend a bit of time today just settling in and getting our bearings but i'm hoping that we get to explore the thames coast the thames coast path no the thames path um which is just nearby i think it's a short walk away um i didn't actually know that the thames stretched so far west as it does i thought it stopped in oxford but clearly i'm wrong <laughs> so we're gonna have a little wander around there i think and then stop in for a pub lunch somewhere and I are just taking a quick walk around the grounds now and it's pretty lovely isn't it? He is on his uh, easy dog hands-free lead because there is a road here and it is a little bit busy. Well not busy but the cars drive fast. Also because we obviously have never been here before and it helps my confidence as an owner keeping him on the lead um, rather than have him run off because we all know he loves to roam. There's so much wildlife here. I've just seen a fox run past this path here. We've also been following a heron. I've seen a buzzard stroke kestrel, because I can't tell the difference between the two. Um, there's coots, there's swans. It's so stunning. This morning I have come on a row on the lake. This is our lodge just here behind me. Woody has stayed on the island. You might be able to see him in the distance uh, with Marcel for a moment, but I'm sure he'll come and join me soon. It's turned into an absolutely lovely day this morning. Um, it was really cloudy first thing and misty, but it was so beautiful and foggy over the river. So yeah, I thought I'd make the most of it while I can. It's quite mild as well, which is fantastic. This is a 16 foot Irish rowing boat. Um, and obviously I had to make the most of that. <laughs> we also have paddle boards and a kayak, as well as a set of bikes. Woody's never been cycling, but I thought it'd be a nice time to try. And also I really want to try on a paddle board. But he, as we all know, he can be a little um, 
temperamental when it comes to boats and swimming. So at the moment he's just chilling on the island, which is fine. I'm not going to force him to do anything. But it is beautiful on the lake today. <laughs> These lakes are actually um, old granite. Mine, not mines, but they were dug out for gravel. And the owners of Log House Holidays bought them 30 years ago and brought back the uh, ecosystem and the biodiversity slowly and gradually. So they've planted loads of trees and uh, loads of wildlife has just come back and it's just fantastic. I'm just rowing back to see if Woody would like to join us this time. He looks pretty keen, I'm not going to lie. Hey! Oh hey! You want to go in the boat? So I can't get you? <laughs> Look at myself sunbathing. <laughs> Woody, you want to come? You want to come in the boat? Yeah! It's Woody! He's going to join us! Hello! Are we going to go rowing? We are enjoying a lovely tour of South Cerny, which is a little while out of Sirencester. It's a lovely place, a typical Cotswold village. We're currently walking down Bowwow Lane, which is aptly named when you're walking with two dogs. Woody is enjoying swimming in the river at any opportunity he can. And yeah, we're just taking in the views really. Oh, we can't take you anywhere. Oh, you spit. What are you doing? Good boy, got it. in the Cotswolds today and we've come to Castle Coombe. We're currently on the Bridalway which is nearby so that Woody can have a little run around. Um, I've heard a lot about Castle Coombe and Marcel Le Corgi who we've been spending this week with um, we highly recommended it so we thought we would come and check it out because it's kind of on the way home. So we've been staying at Cotswolds Water Park um, which is just lakes and there's quite a lot of wildlife there particularly birds and this little chap <laughs> has got a great prey drive for birds because that's what um, he's bred for cock spaniels were bred to flush out um, the woodcock bird but he's not he's not too fussy <laughs> on which bird he tries to chase bless him so I've been keeping him on his lead so it's good to just come I mean admittedly I have no idea where we are but um, it's good to just have a little bit of off lead time so he can run around. quite a lot now so I think it's time to say goodbye to Castle Coombe and hello to the car. Thank you so much for joining us on our trip to the Cotswolds this week. We hope you've had as much fun as we have and enjoyed following us on our adventures. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon.